Hello guys, it's Sam here. Today I'm going to talk about my position. Just another video, an update video on my position on Canoe. Um, over the last couple of days, in fact, I've actually sold some shares now. This was always going to be the plan. I said to myself in my last video, as soon as I break even, as soon as I make a bit of profit on Canoe, I'm going to be selling some shares. I didn't sell a lot of shares. I have, if actually, if anything, I'm more in control of, of my, uh, should I say, my investment with Canoe because this position as itself over the last couple of months if you didn't know last year or so i've literally just been averaging down on my position as of today i have 1000 uh, shares of canoe i did have 1400 about a week ago i believe maybe a bit more maybe a bit less i'm not too certain on that and i have sold a couple shares possibly about 350 400 shares um which i'm very happy with because this was always the plan guys because Canoe itself, I told you my plan with Canoe. I said, you know, this company I think is very, very uh, well planned. It's going to be a great company. That's in my opinion. I think it's very undervalued compared to the other market, compared to the other EVs in the market. If you want to compare Lucid Motors um, and, and loads of others, they're, they're double figures in the valuations. And I mean, Canoe at 3 billion now. I think that's, a, I think that's at the right type of valuation comparing where we're at. If you look at Fisca, they're around 5 billion, I believe. So Canoe in itself, you know, they are preparing for production. They should be going ahead before Fisca, as I've heard. Now, I don't take my word on it. I don't know if that is actually true. I don't focus on Fisca as a company, so I wouldn't know. But I think they're a great company as well. They do have higher pre-orders than Canoe. But I think Canoe is a company where, you know, it is set to be a great company for the future. But they are having some, there are some negatives to the company. They are burning through a lot of cash, which is obviously expected. But the cash can only last for so long. Therefore, that's why I've sold some shares. So as of today, like I said, I have 1,000 shares. I'm willing to ride them shares out until uh, until the production starts and stuff like that. And then we can have an update and re rethink my plan from there. But um, I'm up 42% on this position now, nearly 43%, which is great, considering I was down 20 30% literally two months ago. Last time it was a short squeeze over the last month or so. I wouldn't say we've had a short squeeze. I'd say, you know, people are, are jumping into the stock now, which I said would probably happen because, you know, as soon as production starts Q4 2022, more people will jump on the stock. And I reckon we could possibly hit maybe to 5 billion market cap when that happens. But don't take my word on that. Anything can happen from here till now. But there are some concerns. But there are, um, I would say there's more positives um, that can happen. I, I believe there's more upside than downside if you, if you want to take a risk on this investment now. I'm not a financial advisor, you do what you want to do, but I've had a plan, I've stuck to that plan, and now I'm up 42%, which I'm very happy with. And this has always been a long-term investment for myself. Uh, whether it will work out, who knows? But I think there's more upside than downside to this investment. So yeah, that is obviously just a little update on my on my position. And my average is $9. So like I said, I'm up 42%, and I'm willing to wait from here till Q4 2022 to possibly rethink my plan i want to see how much funds they're going to have on the side the cash they're going to have on the side to carry them on are they going to dilute shareholders personally i think they will dilute shareholders you have to take this into consideration guys or but the, i would say one thing i'm very happy with is the ceo uh, tony tony aquila he has bought more shares uh over the past month which is great i think that's great as a ceo for someone to be you know investing and putting their money where their mouth is and that's great i i, I do like canoe i think long term but I do have a portfolio to run, guys. I can't put all my money into Canoe. I have other investments, Hims and Hers, which hasn't been doing so great lately. The uh, the metrics for that company is going up, but the stock itself has been going down. Their revenue has been going up. Their subscription numbers, everything's going up, but you know uh, the stock itself hasn't. So I've needed to obviously sell some sh shares of Canoe for for that factor to obviously buy more shares in in Hims, and I'll be doing the exact same game plan with Hims. As soon as I break even, as soon as I make a bit of profit, I'll be selling some shares of that and then I'll be piling that money into the next investment that I have. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's just a bit of an update on Canoe. Uh, let me know how many shares you guys have. What, sh what do you think Canoe will be valuation wise in the next year or so, especially when it comes to Q4 2022? Because, you know, 2022 is just around the corner and then we have to wait till summer and we were, uh, you know, around summertime to end of year Q4 2022 and we'll, we'll see where we're at. But for now, um that's just a little update guys i'll be obviously doing more videos in the next coming months giving you guys an update if if massive news comes through with canoe uh so yeah other than that guys please like and subscribe thanks for watching